Hi, this is Matt with Amalinks Pro. Right now I'm going to show you how fast, easy, and fun it is to create Amazon affiliate links using Amalinks Pro. So I'm going to start right away. This Here is a example post I put together on my demo site. First thing I'm going to do is create a text link. So right here where it says waste pack, I want to turn that into a text link. So I highlight it and I copy it and then I click the Amalinks Pro button. And right here I'm just going to paste in that term and use it as a search term for waste pack. And then I look through my Amazon results here. This one looks good, so I'm going to randomly kind of choose this one. I'm going to that was step 1. Now this is step 2 where you choose your link type. I'm going to select text link. This is a preview for what it would look like. I want to change that, so I click the pencil icon. I'm going to delete all of that and I'm going to paste in waste pack so it looks exactly like it did in the bullet point. I'm going to click the button to go to step three. This is where I check my link settings. Everything looks good. So I'm going to click this button to insert link. And there it is. There's the text link connected to that Amazon project with my affiliate link. So below that bullet point, now I want to insert an image for that same product. So I click the Amalinks Pro button again, and it takes me to exactly where I left off in step three. I want to go back to step two, select image link. This is a preview for what the image will look like. You can click the pencil icon to choose a different image and a different size. I like this image. I'm going to change it to large. I'm going to go to step three. Check all my link settings. I want to align center. And then insert link. You can also insert these as short codes if you want, but for these I like to insert link. Now if, once the image is there, you can edit it just like any other WordPress image. You can change the alignment and some settings. You can click on one of the corners and drag it to change the size. So I'm going to change it to about that size. And now I want to insert a CTA button centered right below this. So I'm going to change the alignment on this line to center. And click the Amalinks Pro button again. Go back to step two. Click the CTA link button. So this is what the button would look like. Again, I want to click the pencil icon to change that. I want to just remove all this text, delete it, and I want to change it to buy now on Amazon. And then I can change the appearance. You can either create a new CTA button and make it look however you want. You can change the colors, the border, the shadow, all that, the fonts. Or you can, if you've created buttons on this site before, they're all, they are saved in here and you can select any one you want. And I have a few of them here because I've been using this site to do examples and I kind of like this button so I'm going to click that button to select and now this is what my CTA looks like. So I go to step three, align center, all of my other settings look good, then I click this button to insert short code and there it is. Now this last bullet point talks about larger hiking backpacks so just below that I want to insert a showcase box featuring a larger hiking backpack. So. I'm going to click the Amalinks Pro button, I put the cursor down there. In this case, I'm going to go all the way back to step one because I'm changing my search term. So I'm going to type in large hiking backpack. Click the search button. Search results come up. I'm just going to choose this one on the top and then choose the showcase. And it takes a moment and it builds the showcase box. All of the options on here well, most of the options are editable. All of them can be toggled on or off, so you just click this little eye icon if you want to turn something off and not display on the front end. I'm just going to leave everything on. You can click on any of these that have a pencil icon if you want to edit the text. And the ratings and reviews, you cannot edit those. Those are pulled right from Amazon, as well as the price. You can change the text on the Buy Now button if you want. So all of that looks good. So I go to step three, check all the settings. You can change the width of the showcase. I'm just going to leave that. I want this one to be aligned left. And then I'm going to insert the short code for that. Now I need to hit the save draft button. I want to save all the work that I just did. And when you save draft or update post, what that does, it kind of resets Amalinks Pro. So next time I go back in, I won't be left off on that same product. I'll be starting from scratch, and I'll show you why I needed to do that. I needed to save draft because I want to insert a comparison table right here underneath this heading. So I'll get the cursor right there. I click the Amalinks Pro button. 
So I'm starting from the beginning again, at the beginning of step one. Instead of inserting a search term here, I want to click the table builder button. All of the previous tables I've created on this site show up here. I could insert any of these into this post, but in this case I want to create a new one. So I'm just going to do a quick example of hiking backpacks right here. To add products, I click this plus sign right here. Click hiking or type hiking backpacks and click search and it shows all the search results. I'm just going to select a few of these products to add to the product comparison table. Once you get to the bottom of the search results, you can see you can access pages two, three, four, five of Amazon as well, but I think I selected four or five backpacks, so I'm just going to click here to insert selections. It inserts those into the table. As you can see, the titles on all of these are pretty long. You can edit these, but for the sake of this example, I think I'm just going to actually delete this column and I'm going to add a different column. I'm going to add brand. And so instead of the title, I'm going to list the brand for each of these backpacks. Insert column, and it puts it over here. I actually want to move this next to the image, so I'm just going to drag it, drop it right here. And so now we have the image, the brand, the price, whether or not it's prime, and a buy now button. So after you have the table how you want, you save it, hit the save table button, then insert into classic editor and it puts the short code in right there. Now if we want to see what this post looks like, hit the preview button. Scroll down a little bit, here's the text link we put in there, here's the image link centered, here's the buy now button, the CTO button, here is the showcase box with ratings and reviews. And here is the product comparison table we just created. So as you can see, I, I was able in just a matter of minutes to easily create and insert all of these different link types using Amalinks Pro and it actually was really fun. So there you go. Good day.